Hi Gemini, this is your January 1st or January 7th weekly tarot reading and uh, Happy New Year <laughs> to all of you. Um, we'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please lay, like, share and subscribe to support this channel. I'm a little under the weather uh, this week, uh, Gemini, so please bear with me. So this uh, first spread is on new love this week. We have uh, the Hierophant, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Emperor, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have Death in the potential outcome. We have the Lovers with the Chariot and uh, Justice. And uh, we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with so many different zodiac signs. We've got Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Libra, Virgo, perhaps even another Gemini. Well, I was very impressed when I saw the cards, right? We have uh, nine cards on the table. Seven of them are major arcana cards. Seven. And uh, out of two minor arcana cards, one of them is the Ace of Pentacles. You know, this is no joke either. So this is something that's going to transform your life forever. And uh, it's unavoidable at this point. <laughs> and this is, if this is a brand new person coming into your life, they will, don't be surprised if they tell you they want to marry you on like a second date. Or the first date. Right? They're not joking around. It's like this person will see you and they will know. They will know you're the one. You're the one, uh, Gemini. And uh, the other way around. I don't see any resistance. <laughs> I don't see anybody taking the time to think about it. No, I think it's going to be mutual. Right? Some serious stuff is going on here. The Hierophant, the first card I came out could be a Taurus, you're dealing with. But the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. And that's the first card that came out. The very first card is marriage card. Um, it's also like a religious, spiritual card. Perhaps you're meeting this person at some kind of a formal, official, religious, spiritual family event where not just families invited, but uh, friends are also coming, right? But uh, for most of you, I think this is just a way of the universe to tell you that, yes, this is the person you're going to be spending the rest of your life with. And that's why it's the very first card I came out. It's clarified by the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> You know, there is nothing wrong with the Page of Pentacles, right? It's, but it's a page. Perhaps a uh, Page of Pentacles could be something they're going to give you, right? Or it could be tickets to one of those events that I mentioned, all right? But with the Page of Pentacles, people, are, you, people usually mean business, right? Um, it could be tickets, like I said. It could be something. could be paperwork. I don't know. Let me know what that is. But uh, the Page of Pentacles... Sometimes comes through as a piece of jewelry in a small box. <laughs> it really does, because it's something tangible you can touch. That, right? And the next card I came out is the Emperor, clarified by the second uh, minor arcana card, the Ace of Pentacles. The Emperor could be an Aries, you know, but the Emperor is somebody who is large and in charge. The Emperor definitely knows what he or she wants, and the, um, the Emperor often comes through as a future husband or a future spouse figure. Right, and they're clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. It really does. If it's not a proposal, this is still uh, the Ace that usually comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to change their life, your life, your lives together. Because there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles. This is a pathway to a new life with this person. Speaking of transformations, Death, the next card I came out could be a Scorpio, you know, but Death is a card of a transformation. All right, a transformation of your life forever. It's a very positive transformation. What was what was important to you in some aspect is no longer going to be important. If you were single, you're not going to be single <laughs> anymore. Your life is about to change, big, major way. And the magician on the bottom of the deck, it's actually one of your major arcana cards, Gemini. You share it with Virgo, so you could be dealing with a Gemini or Virgo. The magician is a card of manifestation, and at the same time, it's a card of taking action. Taking action, and that's exactly what's happening this week. This person is not going to hesitate. They will take that action towards you. <laughs> All right. In the potential outcome, we have the lovers with uh, the chariot and justice. The lovers is definitely your major arcana card, 
uh, Gemini, um, again, unless you're dealing with another Gemini, but the, lo the lovers is a card of a choice. But again, I don't see anybody taking time to think about it. Granted, we all choose to be in relationships or marriages, so perhaps that's it. And at the same time, the lovers it could be the love of your life card. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of a twin flame connection, and uh, it's just a fantastic card to have. The chariot, the next card over could be a cancer you're dealing with, but the chariot is a card of moving forward and not looking back. It's a card of victory, success, triumph. It's also a card of just going somewhere, moving in together, relocating together. Justice right next to the deck could be a Libra. You're dealing with, but the justice sometimes plays out as a place where people get married, like a chapel or what have you, right? Justice could be the government, right? When people get married, they sign a piece of paper, and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government, so it could be that. So it's unavoidable, <laughs> Gemini. With cards like that, I definitely a commitment. And uh, definitely commitment this week or the following week, but it's I don't see it going any further than that in terms of people, you know, getting into a commitment. Yeah. Some serious stuff is going on, all right? Really happy for you, Gemini. Congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, um, Gemini, this spread is for you. We have uh, the six of ones, the eight of ones, the ace of swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the page of ones on the bottom of the deck. This feels like some good news. It's like uh, you will receive a letter uh, or an email or a phone call um, and uh, it's like the word yes is in it or you're being granted you're being given something and now you can move forward with whatever you were planning to do <laughs> all right that's how it feels it feels like a victory you will feel like it's a victory for some of you it's literally a victory all right the page of ones on the bottom of the deck I think it's a message right it's that message that I was just referring to email letter phone call what have you somebody somebody may approach you and tell you and uh, the six of ones, the first card that came out is a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling recognized. It's a, it's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. And now you can move forward. It's like you're giving a green light. Let me give you some examples, just, just to give you some understanding. Say you want to remodel your home, but uh, you had to submit the blueprints with your local government, right? And now you were waiting for them to get back to you and let you know whether it's approved or not. The answer is yes, you're approved. Right? You could be approved for a home loan, so now you can go ahead and buy a home, or a car loan, or whatever. These are just some ideas, right? Some scenarios. The Eight of Wands, the next card over, is also a card of travel, it's also a card of uh, uh, communication, so perhaps now that you got the green light, you can communicate or you can uh, move forward with something or literally go somewhere. Right? The Ace of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, a new beginning, some kind of a new beginning. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. It is a card of a new beginning, the Wheel of Fortune clarifying that. Um, it was also a new beginning or travel card. All right? So yeah, good news, and uh, now you're able to move forward with whatever you were planning to do. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also keep in mind we're still a little bit feeling that Mercury retrograde because of the uh, post-shadow period, right? So this is when more X's than usual tend to resurface. So we got the um, Temperance, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Star. Then we have uh, Strength, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And we have Judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, or any Zodiac sign. What's up with all the uh, Major Arcana cards? Again, <laughs> the first part was just Major Arcana card galore, and uh, so is this one, I guess. Right? <laughs> um, I think it's a reconciliation. You know, I think it is. Somebody is coming back to you, the first card, the uh, Minor Arcana card, the Eight of Cups, Left Hand Temperance, somebody is coming back. Okay, uh, Temperance could be a Sagittarius, you're dealing with Temperance is a card of healing, and the star right next to it is also a card of healing, both are major arcana cards. Um, the star could be an Aquarius, by the way. All right? Judgment on the bottom of the deck is a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past, and at the end we have uh, Strength, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Strength could be a Leo, Strength could be a Courage to go through with this, right? And uh, the Ten of Pentacles, clarifying that, is a card of a commitment to marriage. Rock solid commitment to marriage, as a matter of fact. So I think it's a reconciliation. Uh, there is no other way for me to interpret that, right? With two healing major iconic cards on the table. Um, yeah, I like this.
I like this a lot. Hopefully you guys can make it work. But it, it looks solid, right? With that Ten of Pentacles. Clarified by strength. It really, it really does. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances this week, Gemini. We have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Emperor. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be hearing from your ex-boss this week. If you don't hear from them, they miss you. <laughs> if you do hear from them, I don't think you're going back. I don't think you are. Um, the thing about this reading is that we don't have any pages, we don't have any knights, we don't have any aces, right? So I'm sure if I were to clarify further, we could have probably seen one of those, but we don't have any right now. What we do have is this emperor missing you, regretting letting you go, or regretting firing you, I don't know. Whatever happened between the two of you. The Five of Cups is a card that always has to do with the past, and the emperor, clarify, that is the person. Right, the emperor is a boss figure, <laughs> okay, and the five of cups. This is them regretting that you're no longer there, right? Um, the nine of pentacles in the middle. I think that's you. Perhaps you're still connected on social media with them, or LinkedIn, or what have you. The nine of pentacles is a card of somebody who is glowing up, somebody who is doing very well financially, somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is a figure of authority on their own, right? And uh, the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of work, business, and finances. And uh, the Ten of Swords right next to the deck is a card of an abrupt ending. An abrupt ending. And it's the last card I came out. So if they reach out to you, you will. I don't think you're um, like looking forward to chatting with this person. Or you're not looking forward to going back there. Or something like that. So you may, you may not even answer. If you do answer, you'll, you'll tell them off. All right, <laughs> that's how it feels. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. We have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Six of Cups. Uh, we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and Temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Sagittarius on the table. What you're not expecting is this Queen of Pentacles showing back up. You already know who this is. This is somebody you went your separate ways with, somebody you had like a major fallout, a major fight, and uh, they're coming back offering you an uh, olive branch, but you're not accepting that olive branch. <laughs> you're not. I don't know what this person did to you, but uh, no, I think they will only make it worse, to be honest with you. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles most likely is an earth sign. Uh, towards Virgo Capricorn is somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. To the left from them we have the Five of Wands, which is a card of a fight, drama, that type of energy, right? Conflict. The Six of Cups, clarifying that is a card of somebody coming back from the past. And the, the, to the right from the Queen of Pentacles we have the Five of Swords, which is very similar to the Five of Wands. So you had a fight with them in the past, they're going to try to bury the hatchet with you, with the Temperance card, which could be interpreted as a card of healing, but you're not, you're not accepting it. The last card is the Five of Swords. This is what this is the outcome, I guess, right? This is you not having it with them. You know, you may say thanks for the apology, but the buzz off. I'm not reconnecting with you, whatever the nature of this connection was. <laughs> Alright? So yeah, leaving somebody in the past where they belong. Alright, Gemini, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this first uh, week of 2024. If this video resonates with you, please like it, please also share and subscribe, and uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.